So I guess it's that time of year where every Lux YouTuber establishes their 2024 wish list. And this year I want to switch things up a bit. Maybe I'm not going to be so bag focused, but more tangible goal focused. And stay tuned till the end for a very special announcement. But before we dive in and unpack all of that, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content when? Every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. So if that's something you're into, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Click up here to join the membership because we have an amazing engaged community, a full-fledged Discord where we can talk about this stuff. I even share sneak peeks of what I'm buying, special finds, things like that. So check it out. And what are we doing today? We are going to be discussing my 2024 wish list, which might surprise some of you. And like I said, there's going to be a very special announcement at the end. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'm going to be very upfront with you guys. I always feel a little silly, you know, posting my wish list at the start of the year just because, well, first of all, like, why, why do you care what I want kind of thing? And also with everything going on in the world right now, it just feels very superfluous. But I also love escape entertainment. So there's that aspect. This just got really dark. So let's turn it around. Looking back at my wish lists in the past, I always enjoy kind of looking at them and seeing like, did I follow the wish list? Did I stray from it? And I think the wish list, even though it's completely superfluous and silly, does kind of help kind of build a framework for us handbag collectors and what we want to kind of allocate our money towards this year, things that we really want to find. In most cases, it can kind of help you work towards a bigger goal. If you're, if you're like me and you, last year you were working for the Birkin and building up to that big purchase moment, sticking to my, my, my plan definitely helped throughout the year. It didn't hurt that I had a few vlog sales too, but that's beside the point. We all know that I'm a more is more kind of guy. But as I'm evolving, as my style changes, as my tastes change, I'm finding that I get more pleasure and enjoyment out of two, three, four big ticket items that I've wanted for a very long time than I would say, like, when do we all remember my 2021, 2022, where I bought like 16 to 20 Balenciagas in one year? Like, I just don't want to get back to that point where I'm just like constantly snapping things up because they were a good deal. I want to intentionally buy things that either fit in my new aesthetic are quality heirloom made, or they make it like a really bold statement. Like I, I want really core key pieces in my collection moving forward. Does that make sense? What what am I looking to add? What am I what am I looking to buy? What do I need? Like I don't need any of this stuff. I have plenty as it is, but what 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 do I need in my collection? First and foremost, I have been searching for months for a Ralph Lauren Ricky bag. Now I know, I get it, I get it. It's a Ralph Lauren bag, whatever. I have searched for months. Now the bag that I really want, like my, my goal bag would be like a gorgeous full grain kind of Berenia leather style handbag with gorgeous either palladium or gold. I prefer gold, but I'll settle for palladium hardware. What I love about the Ricky bag, it's, it's very kind of sporty, very elegant, very refined, very structured, very American, but with some English equestrian twist to it, which is kind of like the style aesthetic that I want to kind of build myself towards this year. I'm, I'm going to be going through a lot of changes this year as far as my aesthetic goes, so prepare yourselves. I think this bag is going to be something that could fit beautifully into my collection and it's going to be a great alternative when I don't want to carry my Birkin, but I want a Birkin-esque bag, if you get it, like if IYKYK, I guess. So I am on the lookout for a shade of brown. It could either be RL Gold, Medium Brown. I think both are gorgeous colors. The Medium Brown is a little bit darker and more chestnutty. So the RL Gold might be better, but whatever it is, it has to have that gorgeous leather lining in the color purple. I love the color purple and I think it's it's a fun nod even though I don't think the Ralph Lauren Ricky is part of the purple line. I think it's just Ralph Lauren collection. It kind of reminds me of that like that beautiful upscale aesthetic and I think it's going to be a really good bag to add in my collection next year. Now next up on my list is something very special. I mean they're all special in my opinion. They're on my wish list. Hello. But this next bag is it's it's kind of open-ended but it's Louis Vuitton Suhali. Now, we all know that I already have the Lingenue GM in my collection in the color black, and it is one of my favorite all-time handbags, even though it's very heavy, very hard to get into, and a pain to go shopping with. I, I still love it. I don't know. I live for difficult things, I guess. I don't know. To my collection next year, I'd like to add either that bag in another color, preferably the plum. They had a gorgeous shade of plum for that bag with the gold hardware. It is it is stunning, it is perfection, or maybe even like a white or the blue. I also want to add the La Impressivable. And this one, it's very sack plat in its design. It has a gorgeous key clochette and a little flap over the top. 
tons of beautiful iconic LV trunk hardware. I came this close late last year to purchasing a white one on eBay. It was only $645, came with the matching zippy wallet, which I already have in the blue by the way, but it was missing its key cliche. And I am one of those people like, dust bag conspiracies aside, as long as it has everything else, I'm okay with it, but it was missing the key cliche and it's kind of a killer for me. Someone of course bought it and is now selling it for thousands of dollars. Shame on you, <laughs> I'm just kidding, but shame on you. This is another bag that I really wanna to add to my collection. Now color-wise, I really don't care. I could get in black again. Black is a beautiful classic. I could find it in the plum, the blue, the white. Any color, I will be perfectly happy. To that end, I would also like to add the Suhali Locket. Again, I think I would prefer the MM size. I think the GM size is just a little bit too ludicrously capacious, especially with the big handles. So I think the MM would be perfect for me. Again, open to any color or even just the locket in general in one of the exotics. These came in gorgeous ostriches, alligators, crocodile, you name it. And they can pop up on Fashion File from time to time, sub 4,000, which for an exotic bag of that size, I think is a pretty good deal, I think. The $3,000 bag, what a good deal. Now, last but not least for my handbag wish list this year, I told you all, it's very simple. A Ralph Lauren Ricky, another Suhali bag. It wouldn't be a Caleb Snell wish list though without some Hermes. We need a little bit of orange thrown in there. So with my Hermes collection, I added two big pieces to my collection this year. We got the Birkin 35 in the box, Ver Fonce with Palladium hardware. We added the Vespa and the Buffalo leather and Havon Brown, Palladium hardware. So it was a really good year last year for Hermes in my collection. But this year I wanna add some more to my collection. I think the Paramount, like the big bag that I feel like I'm missing, I really want a Kelly either 32 centimeter or 35 centimeter and like a dark box leather, preferably in black. I love a black gold combo or really any neutral. I'd be open to like parchment or gold. I mean, who would not who would turn away an Hermes gold bag? I mean, hello. But I think black is probably what I'm looking for the most with that bag. I would like a Bolide 35. Don't tell my husband because it's his least favorite bag, but I would like a Bolide in my collection. I think they're they're classic, they're iconic, and they zip, like, hello. Aside from that, I really have been getting a lot of use out of my Vespa. Looking at my Hermes collection, my Vespa is by far my most used handbag right now. Just because you can throw everything you need into it, throw it on your shoulder, and go. Like, it is the easiest bag to carry. So I'm thinking along that line. Now, I really loved the new updated Asan bag that they shared in the recent Runway collection that I showed here on YouTube. That was originally based on an older bag called the Gao, and Right now, Fashion File has one in white and it's only like $700 and I'm trying so hard to be good because there's other things I want before I buy this bag. I just think that'd be a really good shoulder bag to have. Also, I wanna add the Maasai to my collection. Ever since I saw in my favorite film, I Am Love, Tilda Swinton wandering around the streets of Italy with a beautiful tall Maasai on her shoulder, I was like, done, sold, take my card take my money. So I really wanna add one of those to my collection. Now they're really hard to find because they're supposed to come with two straps. You have to find the right size, color, condition. So that, that's gonna be a bit of a search. I'm not expecting to find it within the next week or two. But these are just a few of the bags that I really want to add to my collection. And that's it, you guys. Like there's really not a lot that I have on my wish list right now. Like I said, I'm a more is more kind of guy, but lately I've been enjoying kind of a less is more. You know, new prices now are just literally so insane for the lack of quality you get, bonded leathers, cheap materials, PVC coated canvas. Like, hello, like let's, let's be reasonable. Let's reel it back in a little bit. At least I am. So I won't be buying anything new that's dropping. I'm still going to look at it. I'm still going to report on it and, and share my opinions with you guys. But I just know for me moving forward, like it's not my priority to have like the newest, latest, greatest thing, if you will. Like I'm buying bags for me and for my aesthetic, my journey, my story. And I just don't see where new handbags fit into that. Now, if they want to start introducing some better quality things or lower prices, I am there 100. If it's not a new Hermes bag, we all know they're not gonna offer me a Birkin anytime soon, so I won't be buying anything in boutique this year as far as handbags go. SLGs, that's another story. I can't make any promises. But as far as 2024 goes, I kind of want to pivot things a little bit on this channel. I know we've been mostly devoted to handbags with some fun lives and uh, fun vlogs mixed in with that. I think for 2024, like I said, we're gonna make a pivot. I want to include all things luxury and lifestyle and not just so much handbags. We're still going to talk about them pretty regularly. I'll still have some unboxings, of course, but I think for 2024, I wanted to include more things like style. Maybe I'll do more personal styling videos for you guys or lifestyle like home decor, shopping, things like that. Travel. Lord knows I need to travel, so I would love to do some more travel series.
oh, well, that's my UPS guy delivering one of the handbags I just talked about. So we're going to cut this short so I can run down, get my package. And I guess that means you're just going to have to come back on Saturday for an unboxing. Till then, guys, stay safe, have fun. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.